Now, the concept of complementary angles is you changing from cos into sine or you changing from sine into cos. If there's a recurring trend, you'll notice that they all have 90 in every single one of them. So the way you change from sine to cos or you change from cos to sine is when you notice there is a 90 in your formula. So this are the important things you need to remember. To be honest, you more or less use, this is, I'll call this number one, that's the one you use the most, followed by this, and you hardly use this, but you sometimes get it in question. So let us try out an example of co-functions in context of reduction formula. So we have something like this, and we are asked to simplify it. Breaking everything down, the first thing we notice in this here is this. This here reminds you of the second quadrant, of the positive quadrant. Yeah, that's where it is. And cos in the second quadrant, as we know, is negative. So this here would be negative cos theta times. We go to this one over here. This is 90 minus theta. This is in the first quadrant of what we just talked about right now. And we know that when you change cos to sine because of the 90, we just have it as sine theta. All this over. Then you have this here, sine 90 plus theta. Now remember, 90 plus theta is in the second quadrant. And sine is positive in the second quadrant. But whenever you see 90, it automatically changes into cos. So for that reason, I understand this here will just be cos theta. And finally, I have sine negative theta negative 180 we understand that this here is also in the second quadrant of the negative angle and as you know sine is positive in the second quadrant so this here can just be written as sine theta so from here i notice that i could cross cancel i have multiplication here and i have a division sign so therefore as you can see this here can cross cancel that and this here can cross cancel that. So from here, all we are left with is just negative. And since there's no other value, we just write it as negative one. 